Bonjour. So welcome to the start of week two of learning Brazilian Portuguese with Refold. So day eight. I will say that I did take a break over the weekend, so I wasn't studying for Saturday and Sunday. Usually I spend time with friends, my boyfriend, and I just want to focus on relaxing, enjoying the weekend, and not like, you know, when I'm working during the week. So I did take a break and I'm getting back into it during the week. However, last night I was watching some more videos on pronunciation and some videos from that channel Easy Portuguese just to hear the language more. Not really like official studying, but I do think it helped re-motivate me because today I'm very excited to get back into the lessons. So for today's lesson, I have a video to watch first and it's called Hearing New Sounds. So it looks like it's about the sounds of the language, which is interesting because I guess I've been jumping ahead and already doing a lot of work with this kind of stuff because I think I'm just really fascinated with the sounds of Brazilian Portuguese. It looks like we're going to talk about differentiating the sounds of a new language, maybe that are different from our own language, um, which is good because it's something I really want to dive into because as I mentioned last week, the sounds of Brazilian Portuguese, especially like the nasally ones, are very different for me and difficult. I was trying last night to like follow along with videos and I think it's just gonna take time and practice. But let's jump into the video for today and then see what kind of homework we have. Okay, so I just finished today's video and it was so interesting. It's one of the parts of languages and I mean, just linguistics that I find really, really fascinating. We talked about these invisible sounds and basically how it's really hard for us to recognize sounds and the different sounds in languages that aren't our native language. So I really like that they also add in these parts to the course, just talking about linguistics and language in general, I find really fascinating because it's true, like sometimes you know, you'll be learning about your new language and there'll be different ways to pronounce the vowel sounds and you're like, I literally don't hear a difference. Because for you, it's hard to understand the difference. And they brought up some examples in English that for me, I'm like, oh yeah, there's definitely a difference. But for example, a while ago, I was talking with my boyfriend who's a native Italian speaker and we were talking about the words tan and ten. And for him, he was like, I barely hear a difference, like tan and ten. And then he was trying to also like replicate the sounds and had a lot of trouble making that slight difference, even though they are different letters, that slight difference between tan and ten. If you think about it so small, tan, ten, like they're completely different words. So it's just fascinating to learn about that part of things. Basically the homework is just continue doing what I have been doing, listening to the different pronunciation and I want to focus on those nasal sounds, keep watching these videos, trying to mimic these sounds. So I'm going to do some videos and I'll probably include <laughs> the audio of me trying to replicate these sounds. Don't judge, okay? It's very hard for me, but I'm trying my best. I probably sound like a psycho if my neighbors can hear me. <laughs> but yeah, let's do some of that and that should be it for today. How would you say they do? Uh, but then, uh, how about M sounds almost like it has an NG at the end. Now Fim. listen to the next word. Fin. 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 How would you guess? Bem vindo. Bem so vindo. here you see bem, bem vindo. vindo has two nasal sounds. B, O, bon. M, Bom. Bom. Which means good. Bom. Notice how it's. Com. 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 Hi everyone, welcome back. It's day nine and today, based on the title of the video, it uh, looks like we will be focusing on reading and listening. So let's jump into it. Hey everyone, and welcome to day 10. If I seem really tired today, it's because I am, but not because of language learning. I went swimming this morning and swimming always takes a lot out of me. 
So I'm super exhausted for the rest of the day. Plus it's like a rainy, cloudy day. So I just wanna lie in bed and watch this new Netflix series that I've been watching. But I have to do my language studying today, which is fine. I'm still looking forward to it. Today I have a video to watch and then some homework that they've listed out, continuing to do some things we were doing last week, as well as spending time with the language, but obviously more details than, than just that. So it looks like we're gonna set some stuff up and then I will work on the homework for today. Okay, so just finished today's video, which was a lot of information about how to set stuff up. Like one thing that's really good is they give you a lot of resources to help with your language learning, like to further incorporate it into your life and make it easier to make it a part of your routine. So we just set up some stuff that you can use like when you are watching YouTube, when you are watching Netflix, to just make it easier to make it like an active study session. And I think they brought up some interesting points about watching shows that are originally in the target language that you're learning, just because they were explaining how, like a lot of times the dubs and the subtitles don't necessarily match up, which can be frustrating. And I personally don't like watching dubbed content that much because I just hate like watching, <laughs> like their mouths don't match up with what they're saying. It's like such a minor thing, but at least Italian dubs are done very well. And like Italy is known for having very good dubbing, but some other languages, even in Italian, it can still sound a little strange because I just feel like dubbed content, just the acting or like the voices just sound really unnatural. So I think it is better to hear like how the language actually sounds and pronunciation if you're watching something that's just actually made in that language. And then also using subtitles of that language, like not using subtitles that are in English because as they have mentioned, it's not beneficial. You'll just be reading the English. So I'm going to go ahead and find some content that has, you know, matching subtitles that are correct <laughs> for Portuguese, um, YouTube, and maybe I should, I don't know if I should try to find like a show yet that might be a little too complicated for me. I could at least start like scoping something out, but I think I'll just stick with YouTube videos for now. They have all those resources. And then also um, really just like focusing more on vocabulary, the words that I'm seeing more frequently, which I've already started to notice some a lot more of like, oh, these are definitely like the common verbs and stuff like that. So just really diving in and like quizzing myself. If I see something and I'm like, I've seen that before, and quiz myself on what the meaning is just to see whether or not I'm right. And like I said, I'm super tired. So I just want to chill and spend some time watching stuff. What a great way to <laughs> relax and study at the same time. So that should wrap up day 10. I'm gonna go watch some content and see you again for tomorrow, day 11. <laughs> Welcome to day 11. Feeling good this morning, curious to see what today's lesson is about, so let's get into it. It looks like today we're doing a deeper dive into pronunciation, just things that I have been working on already just because of my own personal curiosity. So let's watch today's video. Okay, so I just finished today's video. They gave really good resources for practicing pronunciation that I've never heard of. So another thing I really like about Refold is that they already have given me a lot of language learning resources through this course that I did not know existed. I will use some of those to look up pronunciation because as I mentioned many, many times, uh, pronunciation in Brazilian Portuguese is difficult for me as I'm still learning like what letter combinations make certain sounds. And anyways, today we're supposed to just continue using, what do they call it? Dual channel input. So like reading and listening at the same time. I am gonna use LingoPie to watch some stuff. So that's cool. I've talked about LingoPie so many times. You probably heard already me talk about it, but it's a great way to like watch Netflix series and also some of their own content that they make with like dual subtitles. For this, I just wanna be using Portuguese subtitles, but you can easily like click on the words for translations, things like that. So I found what looks like here, like a 
series. It says beginner. Let's see. <laughs> um, and I'm going to watch some of that. I wonder how long the episodes are. Oh, they're like 48 minutes long. So maybe I'll try to get through just like part of one. I don't think I could sit through 48 minutes right now. But I'm going to see how this show is and really work on, you know, if I hear a word that I'm like, wow, that pronunciation is really strange or I want to replicate that, just like pausing it and practicing that. So that will wrap up my day 11. <laughs> Welcome to day 13. Now I know you may be thinking, wait, isn't it supposed to be day 12? Yes, but yesterday, day 12, was focused on working on characters if you're learning a language like Japanese, Chinese. So they just told us basically to keep practicing what you've been doing for the language. So I was just watching more TV series, studying vocab, stuff like that. So we're jumping on over to day 13, which is talking about ambiguity. So not understanding basically what's happening because <laughs> this language is new. So that's basically me because I am a beginner in this language. Maybe for people who are using this program to study a language they're already somewhat intermediate at, this would be something like finding content that's above your level that you will have trouble understanding. But I'm curious to see what they say in today's video. And then um, in the resource list, they have content uh, that's more difficult that I can try to watch today. So that should be interesting. I definitely am a person who gets very, very frustrated when I can't understand something. So I'm curious to see what they say in today's video, if they have any tips about how to approach things like this. I'm sure <laughs> they probably do. So let's go ahead and watch today's video. video topic was very interesting and something that I struggled with a lot. A few years ago, I made a video about getting in the right mindset to learn a new language and it talked about the difference between a fixed and an open mindset. And I explained how for a lot of my life, I've had a very fixed mindset. And in some ways I still do. If you have a fixed mindset, usually you like to be good at something like right away. <laughs> it's really hard for you if you're not immediately good at something or you don't immediately understand something. Um, and it makes you obviously not want to follow through with it. And I definitely used to be like that. And at times still am like, for example, yoga. <laughs> I want to be a yoga person, but I find it so frustrating because I'm really, really bad at it. And I think part of the reason why I pursued language learning is because it's something where you have to have a really open mindset because otherwise you just won't advance if you are constantly critical of yourself and also frustrated with yourself for not understanding. So that's basically what today's video was all about. And they really provided some good tools of what you can do, how you can kind of like work through this frustration with not understanding because as they mentioned a lot of people fail to continue language learning and studying because they get really frustrated with this part of not understanding so basically today's homework we are supposed to watch a video that we just don't understand <laughs> and not pause to like look words up and stuff like that so that should be interesting um basically it's just a way to train yourself with like being okay being uncomfortable <laughs> not understanding and like how you can balance that with some content that you do understand, some really easy content, and then also at times just being fine with not understanding. Because I think it's true, like when I first got to Italy and my whole class was in Italian, it was full immersion. I was so mentally tired after every class, but after obviously like weeks of every day for four hours a day hearing Italian, it really does like, your brain just, obviously you're actively studying the language, but your brain really does like absorb and understand a lot more than you think. So I'm curious to keep going with this immersion stuff with Portuguese and watch a video that I don't understand. <laughs> Again, they have a resource list, so I'll pick one of those. And I'm curious to see how that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will see you tomorrow for the end of week two. We made it to the end of week two. So welcome to day 14, another reflection day to talk a little bit about how this week went, things that I'm liking, things that are difficult for me, just how I'm feeling in general. So I did watch today's video, which talked about things we should reflect on, and I haven't done my studying for today, so I will do that after. But I just wanted to reflect on some of the questions that they ask us in the video to talk a little bit about my thoughts for this week. I will say I really do enjoy how this method really is not stressful <laughs> because I think a lot of times in the past when I've been trying to learn new languages, 
there's like a structure to it that can be really stressful because you're kind of overloading yourself with too much all at once. But this method is really nice because you get a nice introduction into the language and you're building a routine that isn't really overwhelming. I think it's interesting that, you know, we haven't really done a deep dive into grammar yet, which is something that for me, <laughs> because I've always learned the languages in the way of like kind of starting with grammar right from the beginning. There's part of me that's like, when are we gonna learn grammar? How am I gonna understand grammar? <laughs> because I think I'm at the point where I'm starting to recognize a lot of verbs, for example, and I'm kind of wondering how they conjugate and things like that. So I'm curious to see, I'm, I'm sure at some point we're gonna go over grammar, if not this upcoming week, maybe the next. So I'm curious to see how that is introduced into the routine. It's definitely been nice finding YouTube channels and shows that I'm starting to enjoy because then I always have some content that I can immediately go to for my study sessions. And it's always interesting to see just how much I can figure out from my combination of some Spanish and Italian knowledge as far as vocabulary goes. I still want to keep working on pronunciation. I think that it is getting better <laughs> and I found a lot of really good resources to help practice some of these sounds. I definitely still find myself getting frustrated when it comes to not understanding. So the whole thing they talked about ambiguity, I'm a person who gets very frustrated with that. So it can be hard to watch content that I don't understand. <laughs> as far as the part of my setting that could be improved, I just want to spend more time. And also um, I would love to use LingoPie some more so I can keep track of the vocabulary words that I'm learning and go back to them and review them. I think I need to get better at doing a mix of content that is easier to understand and a little bit harder. You know, I don't want to go too easy on myself and just watch stuff that of course I understand. But I also don't want to keep watching stuff that's like, too, too difficult and then make myself frustrated. There just has to be a balance there. So I'm still figuring that out. I think it's interesting because it has made me more confident in my Italian. Like it's really funny because these last two weeks I've suddenly felt way more confident with my Italian when I'm speaking to people, which is nice because when I'm watching a video in Brazilian Portuguese and I'm not understanding anything, and then I go watch a video or like a vlog on YouTube where someone's speaking Italian, super fast, you know, they're a native speaker and I'm able to understand everything. It's given me, it makes me so happy because I'm like, wow, but look at me, like I can understand so much Italian. So one day I know I could get there with another language, you know, whatever it may be. I don't know, that is a nice uh, side effect as well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think it makes things feel more achievable, more possible, I guess. But yeah, I'm excited to see where we go next week. I feel like they gave us a lot of really good tools to use this week. And as always, if you are inspired and you also wanna try Refold, I have the link in the description below. They have a really good refund policy. So if you really, for some reason, are like, this is not helpful for me, whatever, they do have 100% money back guarantee. So if you really are not liking it, but you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm a little too afraid to try, you can at least try it. And like I said, they're very nice. But I found it really helpful. It's a really nice way to learn a new language. Like I said, that's not stressful. And I feel like we'll really build techniques and give you tools that will help you to continue even after the 30 days to learn a new language in a way that's manageable and like long-term. So I know some people have mentioned that they're trying this challenge with me and I've seen that some people have signed up. So it's very exciting. If you wanna sign up, check the link in the description below. Let me know what language you're learning in the comments and I will see you all again for the next video when I start week three. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna follow my journey and I will see you all again in the next video. Bye.